hello guys welcome back to my channel so if you are new to my channel please give me a thumbs up drop your comments more especially subscribe to my channel i still remain krista ever the ceo and creative director of dbc creations so i just launched my new clothing collection which i named survival collection you can also go and check it out i will drop the link in the description box below so i have been receiving a lot of messages concerning a corset so i will start afresh to draft a new corset and also show you guys how to balance the under bust so that it will fit and sit very well under your bust so let's dive into the tutorial so in this video you'll be needing your curve either you have your armhole curve or any curve that you any root curve that you have as more especially if it's curved you should have your stretch ruler a set of massets your compass your pencil your eraser for any mistake more especially your tape and your measurements so i know that you guys know that i love using one inch as my starting point here will now be my center front so i will use the basic measurement for for neck which is a three by three three inches in length and three inches in width like so so i hope you guys will understand this tutorial very well because i'm going to detail it as much as possible so this is the neck i'm going to cover it out using my so once i'm through covering out the next is my shoulder to shoulder measurement mine is 14 divided by 2 will give me 7 so i'm going to mark it out i will use one inch to achieve my shoulder slope so like so so my armhole how i normally get my armhole is my bust divided by eight plus three that's how i get my armhole so exit all the way this is our seven so i'm going to connect it all the way down here so here becomes my armhole length remember your shoulder to your chest mine is seven and a half my shoulder to my under bust my shoulder to bust sorry my shoulder to bust is ten and a half my shoulder to under bust is 14 is 14 why my waist is 18 are you seeing what i'm doing so i'm going to repeat the same measurements here so you can see that i have marked out so the remaining part is for me to connect all my dotted lines so this will give me a guideline on where to place and which one is which In every basic measurement, firstly, you have to mark out your basic length before any other thing. So if any mistake, please clean your lines. So I'm going to connect my waist. So this, line, this is my waist, this is my under bust, this is my bust, and this is my chest line. So in this tutorial, I'm going to use the standard that line, which is four by four, in, which is eight inches standard divided by two will give us four. So I'm marking out four. And I'm going to connect the lines. So this post, um, this corset is the simplest corset, simplest method of corset. They have different method 
or different ways to construct a corset. So let's first of all start with our basic measurement. So we know that that leg supposed to be or that leg is half inch on the left, half inch by um half inch left, half inch right. So I'm going to come down on the bust line. I'm going to come down by one inch and I'm going to go up by one inch on the bust line. So I'm going to connect here to my dart leg. I'm going to connect here also to my dart leg. So your armhole is not necessary now because depending if you want your corset to have shoulder, whatever you cut out here, you replace with whatever you have here. So from here, I will take from my bust point, I will take my measurements from my bust to my, to my under bust, which is here. So I'm going to make a circle. So this will give me a guideline on how to cut out the shape of my bust. So this is my, the, um, the distance between my bust and my under bust. So... If you don't have your compass, you can as well use your tape. Here is here is 3.25, so you can as well use your tape to measure 3.25 like this all the way so you get the exact measurement of your circle. So the next step here is I don't want my center my center front here the center of my chest to be too wide here to be too wide so i'm going to use half an inch here so because this is my chest line i'm going to come down by one inch depending on how open you want yours to be so i'm going to bring down this half inch here so this half inch, I'm going to connect it to this circle. So from the from my from my armhole from my armhole, remember it depends on where you want your where you want yours to be. This is my okay. This is my armhole. So this is my armhole measurement. So from that armhole, I'm going to go in by one and um, let me just say two inches. So then from these two inches, I'm going to connect. So when connecting, you, you use your free hand. Use free hand method if you are a professional so here is where you will have a balance on this the under bust so i'm going to give a little space here because i want my under bust to sit well so this is how it's going to look like so make sure that your under bust sits so well so i'm going to also make this side to sit well also so i'm not going to leave it like that because if you do so part of your breast will just it will just be one kind so i have gotten this side i have also gotten this side so the next thing for me is you know that from my chest line i came down by one inch so i will now decide this one inch is it to open the answer is no it's not to open it will be showing depending on how exposed you want your bust to be on your corset so i'm going to connect here so if you like you can come down by one inch also one inch also one inch one inch down you can make yours to be as straight as this you can curve yours a little bit I'm just giving you guys expo. You can curve yours a little bit. You can as well leave it like this, depending on what you want. You can as well come down from your chest line, come down by two inches, depending on how 
like I said before, depending on how you want your your bustier to be. So you can as well come down like this. But when coming down, always be mindful of your ample because any inches down here will make your side bust to be open and exposed. So this is my this is my this is my illustration. From here I came down by one inch optional from here you can come down by two inches because the more you are coming down the more deeper your your corset is so i'm going to use this curve i'm going to use this curve and clean the rest so it all depends on what you want on individual choices it all depends on individual choices so if you also don't want yours to come down a bit to come down like this can as well extend it up so the difference between my bust my bust is 36 why my under bust is uh, 31 so 31 minus 36 minus 31 will give me 5 5 divided by 2 will give me 2.5 so from here i'm going to go in from that to your main and um, that that line i'm going to go in by 0 0.75 half i'm going to go in by one and half so i will come down also 0 0.75 here and uh, one and half here so my that will look something like this and i'll have something like this or you can as well so once i have something like this i will have i will also have to redraw my my bust area my under bust area i just wanted to make it look neat so that you guys will see exactly what i'm doing so if you notice here here sits well but here is kind of hanging so i'm going to balance it so this side will also sit well so i will reconnect here to this and i'll reconnect here to this so concerning the upper side i'm going to take out half an inch half an inch then connect from here to here and from here to this point so this is how your posterior will look like so i'm going to use mine just give me a second let me bring my 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 ample cup so like i said earlier you can use this you can use this you can also use this but I recommend using this. So from here, I'm going to place my my curve like so. I'm going to place it. Okay. So I'm going to place it like this. So and I'm going to remove the hash lines here this part is kind of tricky you have to take your time just to achieve what you want don't rush it just take your time to achieve your perfect curve so i'll have something like this as the curve so from here to here is what i have so this from here to this point so the next thing for me to do thing is to take my accurate measurement so my bust is 36 okay my bust divided by 36 divided by 4 will give me 9 so i'm going to mark out 9 here as my bust then i'm going to add 2 inches to it. why my under So guys, I extended my lines for the back 
panel so i extended the armhole i extended the bust the under bust and the then the waist so i added one inch for my zip allowance which i have already marked out and i have to connect the lines so i'm going to remove this for easy drawing so once i have marked out the lines remember that i used four by four for my dots so see where i'm i'm marking it out and i'm going to start here remember the dart measurement is from your shoulder nine inches from your shoulder down so here is my nine inches so i'm going to mark it I'm going to mark my four then connect my dart line so this is my nine inch nine inches so from here i'm going to mark out half half inch on both legs and uh, connect like so so once i have connected my my dad so the next thing for me is to decide is this what i want so remember that i said my bust divided by four will give me nine so on my bust line i'm going to measure nine then add my two inches then my waist is 30 which is 7.5 plus 1 inches for my dart which will give me 8.5 plus my 2 inches why my why my under bust okay if you measure here what you have here is half inch is 7.75 7 plus 75 plus half inch will give us 8.25 so i'm going to measure out 8.25 here and then add two inches allowance so connect you can see if you connect this like this it will not match so i'm going to use the largest to connect which is my waist line so here is where i will determine how i want the back to be is this back okay for me is it lengthy is it long is it deep so this question is what you have to ask yourself so from here from these two inches here is my seam allowance so from here is where i want my neck here is nine so i'm going to make it here is nine so i'm going to come down by 10 inches because i want it to be to be down so you can use your thumb ruler to do this that i did here to achieve a good result so this is it i'm going to cut it out okay and label first let me label before cutting it out one two three four here is five and here is six so i'm going to cut it out the next video is how to place it then how to sew so guys after cutting it out you can see that we have six pieces one two three four five six that's why it's necessary for you to label so when cutting out on your fabric there is no seam allowance here but only we have only slight seams so what we have to do here is add your allowances your seam allowances when joining so this is going to be, all these things is going to be two 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 pieces like here is going to, this one is optional either you fold it or you do it two for the for the left and right side so this one is times two this one is times two all these things are times two this one is also times two this one is also times two so that's it our next tutorial is the our next tutorial will be how to place it on the fabric cut it out and then sew like i said before the first to comment on our video have a small package for you to receive so guys keep on watching 
so i'm going to lead you through to the end of this corset so this is part one part two will be cutting it out on a fabric and then sewing but this video i'm not going to teach you how to add your boning to it optional so enjoy your viewing guys Mwah.